I wanted to create a new body of work that was based on music and art. At first, I wasn't sure how to approach this, but it became obvious that given my work is text-based and strongly focuses on storytelling, that researching into the State Library of Victoria's collections would be a valuable place for me to start. My project title was Gansoni, Music and Storytelling. The fellowship allowed me the luxury of time for research and to accumulate material that I would not necessarily have looked at. I wanted to focus on the music of the early Italian Baroque composer Claudio Monteverdi. Especially his madrigals where poetry is put to music. At the State Library, I began exploring Monteverdi's influences and interest in word painting. It's where the musical forms reflect the lyrics and their emotions. I focused on the eighth book, The Madrigals of War and Love, Guerra e Amore. As well as poetry and music, I also became interested in looking at several volumes of engravings and drawings of the Italian 18th century artist Giovanni Battista Peranesi. I was especially interested in looking at the series of images of architecture, antiquities and the views of Rome. Le vedute e antiquità romane. I didn't create any artworks at the library apart from small sketches. These were to be produced later at my studio once I had enough material to work with. At my studio I would translate and rework these ideas into large drawings straight onto my liner. When I was drawing the text, it all had to be done back to front, so then when it's printed it would be reversed. I spent a lot of time on the drawing and it was important that I got it right. So I spent up to two months working on both the linos. The structure was to house the text, so if I didn't get the drawing right, then the whole thing would fall apart eventually, so it was important that I got it right. I would use ink, charcoal, paint, pastels to draw straight onto the liner. But eventually this drawing then disappears because it gets cut out. The cutting is done after I do the drawing, but I also then redraw sections, so I cut and draw, and then I do a bit more drawing.
The lines do vary. I use a couple of different V-shaped tools which give me different widths of line. So wider lines, thinner lines. And then I use this semi-curve tool that I call the scoop that scoops out the background. And I use this to bury the lines and the texture of the lino. And the background for me is as important as the bits that I leave. So the letters and the background work together to create movement and atmosphere and texture as well. When I'm ready to print, I need to get some assistance from other people. And I've been lucky. I've had people that want to come for the experience, or friends, or volunteers. So I need for this scale at least six people. And this time I had seven people. And basically, we need to ink up consistently, and we also can't afford to stop. So the inking up, which is applying the ink on the lino blocks can take about an hour, an hour and a half. Just depends. I try and do it quite quickly so the ink doesn't form a skin or dry out. Basically, the blocks are cut up into different sections and I apply different coloured inks to each section, depending on how many colours I want to use. Once we've inked up the different coloured blocks, then we need to place it together. I've already prepared a registration sheet so we know where to place the blocks. And I've already registered the canvas. And this is crucial because if the registration is wrong, then the whole thing is out of whack. And I basically have to start again. So I do make sure that the registration is right. And I spend a lot of time doing that prior to printing. When I fit all the blocks together, I basically have the canvas lined up at the end, which is already registered, and then I roll it on to the inked up lino block. There's about two or three of us doing that, and we slowly roll it on. Our weight and the heaviness of the canvas prevents it moving so it won't slip. We then have to burnish and rub the back till it picks up the image and you can just see like an indentation on the back of the canvas. It's hard to know how much to rub when we've finished rubbing. It's really guesswork. When we lift up the canvas, there might be areas that haven't quite taken or got enough ink and we have to touch up with the brush. I do try and avoid this, but in this case with the scale, there wasn't much I could do. When we lifted up this print, we did it in sections, so that way I could see if we needed to rub a bit more, or if we needed to touch up. I think the printing process with these prints took about six hours and um, 
it was um, so good at the end to see it hanging on the wall. All that's left to do now is to choose a colour and paint in the background with oil paint and then prepare it for hanging.